Hi there, my name is Sultana Muzakir of SultanaMuzakir.com. I'm a handmade designer and I love everything handmade. And in this video, I'm going to talk about using other materials besides regular yarn to crochet with. But before we get started, if you don't already, please I invite you to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. So, like I said, this video is going to be talking about using other materials besides regular yarn to crochet. So in this video, I'm going to talk about using recycled sorry silk chiffon printed roll ribbon. Now this ribbon uh, you can crochet with and it is made from remnants of Indian saris. And what you'll find is each roll is different because they take the ends of leftover saris and they either tie them together or sew them together to make a pattern, but the pattern is uh, very, uh, well, it's not uniform. So each roll is going to be different. So I'm going to open this up so you can see how this looks. So you can see the pattern here on part of the roll. If I keep rolling it, it's going to change to a different pattern. You can see here where it was sewn together here. There's a seam here. So on another piece of the sorry silk ribbon together. So if you're one of those people who like to have everything really neat and uniform when you're crocheting, this may not be the material that you want to crochet with, but I would suggest you trying it because I like the way um, the randomness of the uh, pattern. And it, uh, as you can see, it has little decorations throughout it also but every row may not be the same so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how it looks when you crochet with it and I'm using a US 10 millimeter crochet hook and let's get started I'm going to use a simple stitch I would suggest using a simple stitch because sometimes this yarn can be a little difficult to crochet with when you get started. And I don't think you need a complicated stitch with this fabric because you can let the fabric do the talking instead of the stitch. So I made a slip stitch. Let me do that again. Make a slip stitch. Put the yarn, the ribbon on my crochet hook. And I'm going to make some single crochets with this yarn. And you want to crochet a little loose with this fabric and as you can see see how it looks so far and I decided I was going to make a scarf with this uh, ribbon Remember, this is silk. It's from Indian saris. And I would pull up a little 
to make this stitch a little bigger. And see how many stitches do I have here? I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. Eleven. Twelve. to put through here, 13, especially when you get to the seam, it's connected to the next piece of sari, 14, 15, and now you can see where it starts changing colors here, going to the next roll, and I am going to a double crochet. We're going to double crochet. So one, two, three, make a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So it's just a little challenge crochet with this ribbon and I was going to make a cowl scarf so sometimes you have to pull it really hard to get it through and like I said this is not A yarn that is going to be neat because the edges are frayed. So I think you have to be kind of adventuresome using this yarn and don't expect everything to come out uniformly. I said you have to kind of pull kind of hard to get through some of the stitches. But even though you have to put in a little extra work, I think it's worth it in the end because you're going to have something that's unique. The next scene, the next color is coming. And you can see how the colors are coming together. And like I said, it's very random. But I that's what I like about it. Colors are random, but I think they make a beautiful pattern. So, if you think that you would like to try this yarn, I purchased this from a company called Ganzet. And as you can see, the different colors here of the ribbon, 
safari silk ribbon and you see how the pattern is coming along here I will leave a link for a 10% off coupon under this video if you'd like to try this sorry silk ribbon yarn and let me know what you think in the comments below what you think about this yarn and like I said you have to put a little elbow grease in there and you might also want to use maybe you want to use a larger hook than the one I'm using I'm using 10 US 10 millimeter hook but it's really up to you how large you want the stitches to be so I hope that you find this video interesting and if you like this video click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I upload new videos and in the meantime have a great day